and welcome back to my channel and in this video I know maybe from my last video um, I put a little trailer um, video in there saying um, introducing Rosie to my new hairless cat Coco um, so this is that video and it's all about introducing your cat to your hamster in this instance um, it wouldn't be advisable because the cat would see the hamster as a mouse and what cats do is tend to chase mice and also they see the mouse or hamster as prey um, so there has to be measures taken when introducing your um, either your hamster or your cat to each other um, for those reasons and also you need to you know make sure that your cage is very well protected and safeguarded um, in my experience of having both now a cat and a hamster living in the same household um, just to you know I never leave them in the same room as each other so I only leave the hamsters in the same room as the cat when I am there um, because you know when you do let your guard down despite how friendly your cat is and how gentle your cat is the instinct of a cat is to hunt for prey it's just their natural way whether they're domesticated or not you cannot take that instinct away from your cat and I have had cats for practically since I, I, I was born there was always a cat in my household and I had the most friendliest of cats so despite how friendly they are with you you know do not underestimate your cat so when you're letting your guard down it is inevitable if you know they are alone with the hamsters even though they are in a cage the cat will try and find a way to get to the hamsters and it, even if it's not just a hunting thing for food it's just a play thing to them When I'm introducing Rosie, um, Rosie, I chose Rosie because she's the most um, friendly of my hamsters and she loves interaction. And when I introduced her to Coco, you know, I make sure she's in a calm state at that time, not so much playful. So, you know, when you're introducing, it's also um, advisable to introduce at the right time. It's not just, you can just do this at any time. Make sure your cat is calm. Make sure they're not in um, hyper mode. Calm is time and um you know rosie if i did have any kind of inclination that rosie was not comfortable or wasn't happy then i wouldn't do the introduction but the fact that rosie didn't really care and seemed to just walk all over coco as if she wasn't there then that's the time i would introduce it would i do this often no would i recommend it no um it's not something that even needs to be done they don't really have to interact with each other because hamsters are in a cage anyway um it's only you know it's not something that has to happen if it was a dog or another cat then yes but the fact that the hamsters are in their own in habitat in their cage it's not necessary for me to introduce them to each other um so but the fact that i could do it was nice but again under supervision never on their own i would never do that by themselves um so yeah so um coco is in her little um little home there i think you can see her try and do a close-up of that so there she is having a little sleep and i brought this little um it's actually like a snug tunnel it's great because she just jumps in there and she gets right in and when she's stretched out she really loves it, it keeps it all nice and cozy and protected so that was a great buy um, I might put the link of that down below. Um, it's from Amazon and um, it's like a little tunnel. It's very hard to get her under the blankets without me having to do it. And I wanted something where she's independent and she can just get in there, 
there. She doesn't need my assistance, so she can just, you know, get herself nice and cozy. Um, and it's really works really well. So I'm happy with that buy. So the question is, can cats and hamsters be friends? So this is the question of this video. And, you know, as we said, you know, it isn't impossible for your hamster to get on with your cat or for them to, you know, live together in peace. And as long as precautions are taken when you're doing this, and you know to respect the limits of the animals and not to push um, and also to ensure that your cat is not in hunt mode because um, it can be fatal so you know um, it can be done but it has to be done in the right setting and with the right measures to be taken to do this I hope that it answers some of your questions if you're thinking maybe you've got a cat and you're thinking of getting a hamster or it could be possibly the other way around which is in my case you've got a hamster but you're getting a cat. Hey, hello, hello Rosie. So this is Rosie, um, probably haven't seen her for a while in videos, but um, here's Rosie. So it is an hour later because Coco was having a little sleep. like the best time to introduce them when she's calm um, and also um, Rosie's calm as well because Rosie's just as curious as Coco so is still in relax mode and she just wants to relax don't you Coco you still want to relax yay say hello to everybody Coco So there's Rosie and there's Coco. I'll put um, Rosie back in her cage because um, she's obviously wants to go on her wheel and do all sorts of things in her cage. So this is um, Rosie's new cage and I just wanted to quickly um, show you the new layout. So this, she's got the sand bath in here. She's got her wheel over here. We also have her rainbow bridge over here. She has a little wooden house um wonderland house over here and we have a water bottle which i've put on this little clean um tile here just to keep the area clean um food in there in that lovely feeder i'm loving it at the moment it's working really well for me and also this little toy here so she can get in and out and also um these are all good um nibbling toys as well and then at the other end, so I've like kind of halved the cage. So we have playtime and feeding time over here and also bath time. And then over here we have some lovely burrowing time and the little house as well. And she's also got um, two layers in there. And she's got all this um, lovely bedding. And you can see I can literally get my hand right in there and um so yeah so she's a dwarf remember so this is plenty of um lovely um bedding for her so let's get rosie and let's see how she's liking the new layout um, there she is let's put her in there oh she's right in the top depth there we go that's what we like to see an explorer exploring her way through this cage tunnels in here and that helps her get inside the bedding because it is so deep. That was an explanation of um, introducing your hamster to your cat. Um, yeah, so it would always have to be with precautions and you would always have to be there and monitor and um, yes, unfortunately that's just the way of nature. And talking of nature, I want to show you my orchid mantis because she actually molted yesterday. One minute she was a completely different mantis and now she actually has and I don't, wings now. She has actually transformed and she's definitely a lot larger 
and she has the wings. So um, yeah, I completely got a shock as you can imagine because the way you've seen her, uh, if you haven't checked out my videos on mantises, and you're interested then check them out and you will see um, the kind of body shape that she had her abdomen and now we have a, a straightened abdomen with wings on top so I'm gonna don't worry I'm going to um, take another shot a close-up of her so that you can see so that was you know this whole um, lifespan of hers although however short it is um, it's been amazing to be watching and amazing to go through the process and see it um, whether I decide to get a mantis again in the future I'm not sure probably not um, in the near future as you can see this is the malt of the orchid mantis or intact completely intact and really um, this is how I found it it was already um, obviously grabbing the twig there transformed completely here and a set of wings so I am a little bit in shock when I saw this because to take this on you really have to be um, full on with it especially with their diet with everything oh my god she just flew so she just took off there live on camera i've never seen her fly um that's shocked me obsessed but you do need to pay a lot of attention especially to the orchid mantis the diets are very very um delicate everything is a delicate process um and you know it is a lot of time and effort if you decide that's why i think people recommend not to get this as your first mantis and it was my first mantis so I had to put a lot of work into looking after her um, but you know it's all rewarding at the end of the day so that's just the update on the mantis so I just wanted to share that with you in this video because just in case I forget because a lot happens with these mantises on a daily basis they're always growing they're always changing and um, it's good to just make sure that I've kept you updated. I also um, wanted to show you the blue Malaysian mantis. You can also see how large the blue Malaysian mantis has grown. Um, well, I can even, and as they grow, you can actually feel them more on your hands. You can, when they're, when they're little, you can't feel anything, but as they grow, you can literally feel the little um, legs that are going on there. They're not so little anymore. So as you can see, the um, the difference now in the size, yeah, very much larger. And you can see the abdomen is longer and larger. Um, so yes, yeah, so, you know, watching all this process has been uh, fantastic, absolutely amazing, because it has been great watching them growing and you know looking after them is very rewarding for me um, so yes I'm very happy um, that I went through this process happy with my choice of pets um, so I do hope that you enjoyed this video we will end this video with our blue Malaysian mantis um, so I do hope that you enjoyed this video um, please um, like subscribe make any comments down below um, in my next video, I will have, I think it will be a cat accessory. I'm not going to tell you what cat accessory we will see in the next video. Um, if you're interested, and it's not just for hairless cats, it's for any cat. Um, so if you do have pet cats, it would be um, interesting to watch the next video. I will also be doing um, cat toys because um, why not? It's just an interesting um, thing to look at. And also, it's also nice to watch cats play with toys. So there will all be all those fun things in that video. Um, and also talking about where I get the, um, the toys from, how much they range from, links down below for where I get them from if you're interested and that it would be literally be for any cat maybe even a puppy so if you've got pets like that you might just want to watch that video um, so yeah 
So um, this Blue Malaysian Mantis is grooming itself at the moment and we will end this video here. So a very big thank you for watching. Um, please um, check out the next video that I have. It um, should be lots of fun. And I do hope you enjoyed this video and also my end bit of keep keeping you updated with all of the pets that I have and how they're progressing. So bye for now and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.